ready something for how it looks because it might be special inside. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 It's going to be a fucked job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? <laughs> You're listening to the Snowplow Show for March 17th, 2017. It's the St. Patrick's Day special sponsored by My First Broom. Thank you, My First Broom, for making this show possible. I never would have been able to do a St. Patrick's Day show if it hadn't been for you and the rest of the people on patreon.com slash phone losers. It would have been impossible. How could I have possibly done this otherwise? Yeah. I have some breaking news, you guys, but it's going to sound like old news. But Radio Shack, they're going bankrupt. Can you believe it? For the second time in 25 months, I feel like I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, a couple years ago, me and Carlito did that whole Radio Shack Adios show, and we really thought that was the end of Radio Shack, but then I guess, what was it, Sprint came in and saved them, and kind of turned all the Radio Shacks into cell phone stores, I mean, that's kind of what they were already by the time they went out of business, but Sprint says they're converting several hundred former Radio Shacks into corporate Sprint stores, and it's most likely they're probably just going to get rid of all the Radio Shack stuff that's in the stores. So I almost feel like we should do another Goodbye to Radio Shack show. And some guy in the comments had this amazing idea, which I kind of want to try sometime. Not on this show, but maybe on a show next week or something. guy named Alan Duell says that RBCP should call two Radio Shacks at once and make them pick a number between 1 and 10, and the one closest to my number stays open. And maybe even have them each plead their case or various challenges, which sounds like a completely horrible thing to do. You know, these poor managers, employees are about to lose their jobs, probably. And I'm just toying with their emotions, making them do wacky things that won't do a bit of good helping them keep their job. That sounds awful. I think I'm going to do it. I remember back in the day, uh, one of the PLA community people, Alt Alp, you guys remember Alt Alp, right? She came up with the idea, and I think I put this on PLA radio, maybe, but she came up with the idea of putting up fake Craigslist ads And then people would call in about the thing that they wanted to buy. And she would put several people on the phone together at one time and challenge them each to sing a song. And whoever did the best singing would win the item on Craigslist. It was genius. Whatever happened to Altalp? I need to find those pranks and play them on this show. One more thing before we get started on the live show, and that is, uh, you know, on the last show I was talking about Nick Caesar's Spreadshirt Shop over at scaryart.spreadshirt.com. He has a ton of PLA shirts on there if you want to go buy PLA shirts. I hope you guys are doing that. I hope you guys are buying like five or six shirts from him every day. But you know what I didn't mention on the last show, and I know I've mentioned this before, but Laugh Track Matt's Spreadshirt Shop, which is located at laughtrackmatt.spreadshirt.com, it also has a ton of PLA shirts on it. And not just PLA shirts, but he also just has random cactus shirts, and a lot of them are PLA inspired, and they have just weird little inside jokes on them and stuff. Like there's the cactus that says, do what now? And the cactus slamming down the red phone. I actually own both of those shirts. But he's put up some new ones recently that are Nick Caesar's uh, art. The first one, it, like they both just look amazing. The first one's for the Party Time show, which is Laugh Track Matt and Zax's show. And it's got a cool PLA bell symbol on it, and it says Party Time. Looks pretty great. But then there's a shirt for the phone show. I don't know if this is a Nick Caesar's store or not, but Matt put it up on his store. It's a shirt for the phone show. I'm, I'm sure they're talking about uh, Matthew's phone show over at kingofbellsouth.com but we could just pretend that it's for my phone show but i'm gonna put a direct link to this phone show shirt because everyone should buy this i'm gonna buy this one it looks just really great so visit laugh track matt's spreadshirt store it's laughtrackmatt.spreadshirt.com i'll put a link to it in the show notes a direct link to that phone show shirt because it's the best one i mean that's my current favorite it's not the best one the best ones are the one that matt designed that's what i meant Hey, everybody, doing a live show, you know, one of those live show things. I have a list of uh, homeowners here, of course, you know, I always call these old people in this one neighborhood where I'm over on Pelican Street. 
And uh, Sunshine, she suggested that I call up people as the homeowners association and attempt to uh, give them a fine for not wearing green today because it's St. Patrick's Day. It is St. Patrick's Day today, right? I I know somebody told me like earlier this week it's going to be on Friday. I think that's today. Hey, Anonymous. Hi, it's Palindrome. Hey, Palindrome. What you doing? I wanted to say publicly on the air uh-huh. that I was not being an asshole to you the other day. I just I did not hear the announcement for the Rust server at rustrejects.ml. Mm-hmm. What, what, uh, what, what, what yeah. made you an asshole? I'm sorry. I'm missing something. Oh, I was, I was saying that you didn't do the announcement, and you did. Oh. Oh. That palindrome. I thought you were the other palindrome. There's only one palindrome. Well, I don't know about that. No, it's okay. Nobody thought you were an asshole. I'm just... I, I, that, that was just me. I was just call, no. calling you out for no reason. But sure, you do, you do sure. suck for not listening to that show before before doing that. I guess. All right. Bye. Yeah. Whatever. Dick face. I was just kidding. You know? Calling him an asshole or whatever I did the other day. God, palindrome. Just kidding. Yeah, I played Rust for the very first time the other day. It was so boring. You guys, don't play Rust. If you're going to play Rust, I guess go to the Rejects, Rust Rejects server. I think they're playing right now. What now? Oh, hey, RBCP. How you oh. doing, buddy? It's uh, it's uh, Great Big Pete. Oh, hey, Great Big Pete. I thought you were Palindrome again, so I was going to yell at him. No, it's El Hombre. I'm just uh, El Hombre, Great Big Pete. Oh. Just thought I'd call to say uh, I love you, I love the show, and thanks for playing my tunes, man. Oh, thanks. You already said that in the voicemail, though, so this great. is pretty redundant. Yeah, I know. God damn it. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm redundant. God damn it, El Hombre. <laughs> Okay, I hung up on him. No more calls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a call as the homeowners association. I'm gonna yell at them for not wearing green. It's probably not gonna go anywhere. It's probably gonna be stupid. But what the hell? Let's give it a try. We have less than an hour today, because I slept late. I slept till almost ten o'clock today. It was amazing. Everyone should try sleeping till ten every once in a while. If this sucks, it's all Sunshine's fault. So, uh, and she she doesn't appear to be in the chat room right now. So, we can we can say all kinds of terrible things about her for this not working out. Uh, let's do pranks. Wants me to say there's a midget dressed as a leprechaun running around the neighborhood and shitting in people's yards. But I don't know. First, first I gotta yell at him about not wearing green. Oh, hello? What's your problem? Hey, don't don't get an attitude with me, lady. I, I haven't even said hello yet. I know that. All right. Well, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And I'm calling to tell you that we know that you haven't been wearing green today. It happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Maybe you've heard of it if you're an American. Yes, sir. And uh, obviously you're supposed to wear green today. Okay. So why are you not wearing green? Why am I not wearing green? Yeah, you're not currently wearing green. We can tell. Okay. Why not? I'm not wearing green. Well, how would you like to be pinched, lady? What? We'll we'll send over uh, one of the board members here from the homeowners association, and they will come. Yeah. They will come over and they will pinch you on the shoulder. No, I don't think. so. Oh yes, they will. If you if you open the door and you're not wearing green, and plus you'll get a fine from the homeowners association. Okay. And you don't want that. No. And your name is? Uh, my name is Dave from the Homeowners Association. And what's your last name, Dave? Gerbel. And where do you live? Here in the neighborhood, over on Pelican. Oh, okay. Yep. No, I'm not wearing green. I'm going to services tonight, so I'm not wearing green. What, is there something in the Bible about not wearing green? I just put on green. No, I'm not, I don't have anything green. But uh, you, oh come on, you do too. Green underwear, no. green pants, no. no, green socks. All right, have a good day. We've been shooting Thank microwaves you. at your house from from our, the homeowners association satellite, and uh, we're able to look inside of your you know b- underneath the roof and see that there's no green. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is you must rid- be like Donald. This is ridiculous. Donald, who's Donald? Donald Trump. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna do. Um, you're going to... Go ahead. Look at my house. 
I don't have green. I have green plants here. That's about it. Yeah, well, that Other doesn't count. That, you, woke me up, you woke me up. Well, you shouldn't be. Right? It's, it's, it's the middle of the day, so I don't feel well, bad. Well, you don't know how much I stayed up at night, okay? I stayed so up till 5. I Do slept, me a favor. I, I slept till 10 today. I phone no. and uh, gay in bed. You hang... Wait, I'm sorry. Which, what did she say? What was the ending uh, chat room? Please. <laughs> I, I can't understand. I don't know what she said. Quick, chat room. What was that? She, uh, gay in bed. She's going to bed. Gay is bad. Gay is bad? Yeah, something about gay. I, I don't know. I wish I could rewind. I mean, I guess technically I could rewind, but no, no fuck that shit. Let's just call the next person on the list. I think I messed that one up. She said, labia in bug letters. That's what Genuine Fake says. Uh, Gay is Brad. I think that one's probably right, Dexter. Uh, Cucumbers are green. Gay Brad. Hang up the phone. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's just move on. I have a gay dad. Just call her back and be like, oh yeah, well, it's... Hello? What the fuck does that mean? Are you speaking Hawaiian? Excuse me? What oh, kind of language are you using? No, that's what I was asking you. I didn't understand what you were saying. I, I thought I called America. I, I'm calling... Maybe I'm, I don't want to speak English. Well, that's pretty weird. You know, you're picking up the phone here, here, in, here in our... Here, here you in know, the great, you're greatest, bothering me right now. I'm not, okay. I don't mean to bother you. I'm calling from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I was calling to find out how come you're not wearing green today, because there's actually a policy that you signed when you moved into this well, neighborhood. I'll tell you what, why don't you send me a uh, bill, because I'm not wearing green. Well, I will. And we'll see where that stands up. Well, I was trying to hope, that I was hoping that we wouldn't have to go that route, but yeah. if, if you're going to okay. make me, you're, you're going to get a fine. Don't uh, bother me again. I'm telling you, I got to go to the bathroom. Goodbye. What, what? <laughs> Can you just take the phone to the bathroom? What's wrong with people today? What was that? One's got to go to bed. The other's got to go to the bathroom. And the number you have dialed is not in service. Rest in peace. Charles and Kathy. They were good people. I should call her back. Are you done using the bathroom yet? Number one or number two? Hello. Hello, Mary Jane. No, I don't. Don't lie. Come on. This is not Mary Jane. I'm not lying. Don't you talk to me that way. Well, it's just... MJR says that green shit stains don't count as festive. That's a good rule of thumb for St. Patrick's Day, you guys. Yeah, no shit, right? Fun Society Arcade? <laughs> everyone's, everyone's having the shittiest St. Patrick's Day ever. Hello. Hello, John. Yeah. Hey, this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. From the homeowners? And yeah, yeah, you know, the homeowners, home home, home property owner thing. Okay. And I was just calling to find out how come you're not wearing green today, because it's actually part of the policy here. Just trying to get everyone in the spirit here in the neighborhood, and you're not wearing green. How do you know that? Uh, we're able to tell. We, we have sensors and stuff. Well, you're not... Your centers are incorrect, first of all. But well, we, what what shade of green is it exactly? Because some some shades of green don't register, or if you're using your microwave yeah. oven, that can interfere with it also. Well, maybe that's it. But are, are what can you, I do for you? Are you wearing a green shirt, green pants? What can I do for you? Well, I was calling to find out how come you're not wearing green because I don't think you are. I uh, think you're lying to me. And well, that's wrong. All right, talk to you later. Bye. But hey, listen, you're gonna get a fine from the OK. He's gone. Just a couple more of these, you know? We, we gotta just try a couple more. See someone gets upset about the whole green thing. People don't seem to believe me for some reason. And then we're gonna talk about uh, midgets dressed as leprechauns running around in their neighborhood. Hello, we are not available now. You guys, I've been calling this same neighborhood for four months now. Does that count as harassment? I mean, it's not the same person. It's just the same neighborhood. I don't think it does. The number you have dialed is not in <sighs> service. Okay. Please check the number and try. 
Gotta get that rest in peace on my soundboard. God damn it. I need some kind of an AI system that'll just replace that message in real time with, we're sorry, people you've called are dead. Please have a moment of, si- a moment of silence. That's what I need. Someone, someone whip that up for me real quick. That'd be nice. Uh-oh, I've been ordered to change the music, everyone. There we go. Yeah, it was getting a little annoying, I know. I'm unavailable to answer the phone at this time. Please leave a message at the time. All right, here's a couple of people. They live on Pelican. Hello? Hi there, uh, Rosalie. Yes? Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. And uh, I, you know about the policy uh, for St. Patrick's Day, right? Uh, everyone's supposed to be wearing green today. And uh, we happen to notice that you're not wearing green today there in your house. Hello? Hello? Rosalie? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, oh shit. shit. I'm Satan. Satan. I thought I was going to echo. Okay, well, bye, Rosalie. You remember that policy. You don't want to get fined. Hanging up now. I think she hung up already. Whatever. Hello? There we go. That's better. Hey, guys, I found the the most amazing um, voice effect. I didn't know this existed on my my mixer the other day. I was looking for uh, something. And, uh, Uh, whoa, hold on. I, I I label this one as poltergeist. Hello? Hello? Go to a little light. Mommy? 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 Amazing. <laughs> gotta use that for something. Here's someone named Ursula. We gotta call Ursula. I usually skip the entry if it's just a, a female's name, but come on, this is Ursula. Hi, this is Ursula. Oh, hey, Ursula. This is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Hey there. Um, uh, you know about the policy for uh, St. Patrick's Day, right? Where you're supposed to wear green today? I am. But no, we we uh we we just checked and we show that you're not wearing green today. And you're you're supposed no. to be. It, 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 then somebody is colorblind. Well, no, it's it's uh, sensors we have uh, pointed at your house that can penetrate through walls and through the roof and stuff, and uh-huh. it, sh- it shows which color you're wearing. And we show that you're mm-hmm. wearing you're currently wearing a red shirt. Nope. What, what are you? I, I, I can even have my uh, friend verify that I uh, wear two kinds of green. Oh, hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, so that uh, beam must be a little bit. Uh, uh, colorblind. Hmm, that's very strange. That I don't possible? know. Well, I don't think so because computers don't make mistakes. And uh, yes, I I know they don't make mistakes. They <laughs> just are dumb. <laughs> well, the, it's, without the input from yeah. the uh, intelligent people. Well, yeah, but no, our people don't make mistakes either. We, we've we've perfected everything, and we're showering uh-huh. your, your house right now in microwaves. And that shows us exactly uh-huh. what color colors you're wearing, and we don't see anything on the green spectrum. We show that uh-huh. you're, you're wearing blue jeans and a red shirt, uh-huh. and it's ridiculous. Uh, do, you don't want to get fined, do you? Uh, well, it can be fined because I'm not wearing those items. What are you, Anyhow, what are you wearing? Green. Well, I mean, I mean, what a are you wearing? Green you know? and a sweater. A green sweater. Mm-hmm. And 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 the uh, 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 blouse over it. Oh, of course, you gotta have and the blouse. That is green. Okay, mm-hmm. well, we may have to send someone from the homeowners association over to to just check uh-huh. and, and confirm and make sure. And uh, uh, they can try. Okay. Well, I mean, you'll answer the door, right? They they just have to just to make sure you're wearing green today, because otherwise uh-huh. they, they have to give you a ticket. Uh huh. Or a fine. I mean, not a ticket. Yes, well, I can always refuse the fine if I don't. Uh, oh, I don't know uh, about fall that. And <laughs> you, you don't want you don't want trouble, yeah. do you? Uh, I can't be in trouble when I don't do the things that you uh, state. Anyhow, well, so I don't what else? 
what else is going on. Oh, no, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make sure you're wearing green today. Uh, that's really great if you are wearing green. Got to wear green yes, today. We gotta, I, gotta, um, I get to get a free ticket, right? Well, it'll it'll be a, a thirty-five dollar fine if you're not wearing green. So, uh huh, uh huh. So make uh-huh. make sure you change yeah. into green before someone stops by. Uh huh. Okay. All right. And the green. You have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, you too. Hey, make sure the green was made in Ireland. That's very important. It has to be Ireland green. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. You take care. You too. Bye, honey. Bye, bye. Take care. No, you take care. Motherfucker. I think we're about done with this green thing. I do want to do the uh, the midget idea. I don't know why. It's really stupid. <laughs> if I've ever had that idea, that's that's dumb. Come on, a midget dressed like a leprechaun. Let's do pranks. What's wrong the with you? The number you have dialed does not exist. <laughs> and neither does the person. That was a good one, wasn't it? I made a joke about a, an old person being dead. Teehee. Hello, Dorothy? Hello. Yes? Hey, this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hey, yeah. And uh, we've had a problem today in the neighborhood. Have you seen a guy running around there dressed up like a leprechaun? No. Because he was last Don't seen... Don't scare me. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not trying to scare... you. I can't afford it. <laughs> uh, did you lose him or what? Well, no, yeah, I'm, he was one... I'm kidding. No, yeah. I'm kidding. Oh. I don't get scared that easy. It's it's okay. No, I, there's just like this midget, and he's dressed up like a leprechaun, and he's running around, and he's pooping in everyone's yard, and they said he was near oh. near your house. So have, near ha- our house? Yeah. Have you seen anyone out the windows? No, because I my son just took the the dog out, and I took the dog out. My husband did, and nobody said anything. B- nobody saw a midget running around. No. Dressed like a leprechaun. Is this? Is this a joke? Oh, no, no, I, I, would, I wouldn't joke about this. This is a very serious issue. He's, he's running around and just causing civil unrest, like going around pooping in people's I'm, yards. I'm sure it is. We've got two ladies that don't have any husband up the street, <gasps> if you know the area. Oh, they, uh, you know, they live by themselves, one yeah. in each house, and Shirley has MS, uh-huh. you know, one of the ladies. I don't know what's wrong with the other one, but... Can you find out? There's another house with old people. I mean, we've we've been here a long time. Yeah, you know, like I don't think and, he's uh, real pooping. He's like pretend pooping, and then he he like drops gold into the yards. Like, oh he, my god! He's trying to make it so he poops gold. <laughs> I, I wish he might be one of the yeah. neighbors. Like maybe if you just go out in your yard and see if there's any gold. I don't know if it's real gold or if it's like chocolate gold. Maybe you could find yeah. out. Well, if it's chocolate, it's going in the garbage. You don't want it, right? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's it's free free chocolate, you know? No, not me. <laughs> I don't eat anything I don't buy. Well, yeah, I but... I what I go out to eat. This, seem, this, eat this, seems, this seems legit. A leprechaun pooped it out on St. Patrick's Day, so what could yeah, go wrong? right? Well, I'll go out now and look. Yeah, yeah, just kind of look around in the yard, see if you see any gold... Um, it might not be chocolate. Would, it might be real gold. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, you never know. Then there has to be there has to be a little bit something wrong with him if it's real gold, and he's leaving it. Well, maybe he's oh, just listen, he's he's leaving if, his fortune. If it's somebody fortune. that might scare the people up up the back, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, are you wearing green today? By the way. Nope. It's all blue. Oh no! You have I'm to. I'm not Irish. I didn't even think of it. I know, but I, I do. I like corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, but but I don't that doesn't have count. Green on. I'm sorry. That, like like uh, having a green poo that doesn't that doesn't count. <laughs> but oh. no, what I'm saying is is it's actually in in the the uh, policy that you signed when you moved in, moved into the neighborhood. The homeowners policy. Uh-huh. You have to wear green today, and, and if you don't, you oh, could they get do, a, huh? You could get a third. Honestly, I don't know if I have any green. Yeah, you might not want to go outside if, if 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 you don't have green because they'll give you a thirty five dollar fine. You're kidding now, right? No. Oh no, no, they have people <laughs> patrolling the neighborhoods today. Um, it's just, it's kind of like a. Um, well, they could put me in jail for thirty five dollars if they. Oh, they don't want to. They they don't want to put I'm you 80, in jail. Just put on a green I'm shirt. Eighty four. Just put on a. Do you have There's a green? A lady up the street. She's walking around. Oh, I did, guess she's going for her mail. She doesn't have green. No, she has a white sweater. Oh on. my goodness! I, don't, I'm, don't what? tell her I said I didn't. Uh, oh I no, no! You, 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 you see something? You got to say something. You know? 
Uh, who is it? Who is it? We're going to send someone over. Yeah, right. No, I, it's her. Can, I know who it is. Can, can you snap a picture of her? No, uh, I don't have a, a cell phone that snaps pictures. <sighs> do you have, like, maybe perhaps a camera? Nope. Shit. I don't do anything anymore but stay in the house. Okay, well. Except if, take the dog out or if, my daughter comes and gets me. Well, if, you, if you take the I dog out or, or if you go out looking for gold, make sure you, you uh, put on something green. Well, I'll look for it, but I don't know if I do or not. Okay, yeah, just put on something green and, and go out there and look for gold. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. I hope you have a good St. Patrick's Day. You too. I already did. You made my day. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and if you find any gold, it's not yours, by the way. It belongs to the Homeowners Association. Okay. So if it's thank real if it's real gold, it's ours. I'll hold it. I'll give it to whoever comes to the door for it. And if it's chocolate, just okay? eat it. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. That was weird. I've got this list loaded up into uh, Windows Paint. And uh, just so you know, I'm using a green paintbrush to mark out the numbers, as I call them. So, you know, I don't, I don't want any trouble from you guys. I don't want to get a fine or anything like that. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, my Irish accent. I'll, I'll get right on that. I really should be drinking today, you know? St. Patrick's Day. Why am I not drinking? I could have had the watermelon for loco. That's allowed. You guys, I'm wearing black today. I don't think I'm wearing any green. Hello? I'm such a hypocrite. Hello, Constance? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, we've we've had some reports. Uh, people over there on Gone have been saying that there's a, a midget. He's dressed up like a leprechaun and he's run around, running around the neighborhood. He was over by your house. You're kidding me. No, no, he's got like a, a pot of gold and he's been thrown out in people's lawns. We're, <laughs> we're not sure if it's real gold or chocolate or... We don't know who this guy is. Have you have you happened to see him over there, though? No, I haven't. Can can you look out the windows? Maybe he's out back, like, like oh boy. hiding with his pot of gold or... Uh, let's see. And I notice you're not speaking in an Irish accent today. Um, you know that's... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's part of the Homeowners Association policy. That, uh, oh, on, did I have to speak like that? <laughs> yes, if, if you could just do that for the rest of this call, that would be great. Also, are you wearing green today? Uh, no, I'm not. Wow. Actually, it's did, turquoise. Did, did you just give up on life or something? Uh, yes. Come on, go, go put some green on. It's actually part of the Homeowners Association policy. That if you're not wearing green, we can fine you $35. Oh, well, then I'll have to put it on. And I, I noticed you've lost the accent. Yes. Uh, could you please, I, you need to use the accent. Oh, my God. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Steve A. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're just, uh, it's mainly, I'm mainly calling about that uh, midget person. I don't think it's I a don't re see him. real leprechaun. Are you checking like in the backyard and stuff? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, if you see him, don't approach him. If if he like, he, if he's like, hey, come over here, I'll give you some gold. Like, don't okay. don't do it. Okay, I'll be very careful. Um, can you can you uh, say what you just said in an Irish accent, though? Uh, yes, I I certainly will. I'll be very careful. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. I can't believe she did that. That was Fun Society's Fun Society Arcade's idea that uh, they have to use an Irish accent. And what the hell? She did it. Like, why did she do that? It's fucking weird. What's wrong with her? Oh, uh, F in F in reality says uh, my name today is Steve O Dave, not Steve Dave. Steve O Dave. I'll try to remember that. Hello. Hi there, George. Yeah. Hey, this is Steve O'Dave from the Homeowners Association. Mm hmm And uh, I was calling to let you know, uh, there's been this guy running around the neighborhood, and I guess he's been over there by your house, over there on Pelican. And uh, he's dressed, he's a midget, and he's dressed up like a leprechaun, and he's just running around pooping in people's yards and stuff. And have, have, you, <laughs> have you seen this guy? No, I haven't. Okay. Have, have, you been, have you been outside? Have you looked out any windows today? I've been outside, uh, yeah, with my dog. Okay. My dog hasn't seen him. Okay, well, don't be a smartass, okay? This is a serious a serious matter. Uh, they just reported him over there maybe like 10 minutes ago. 
Okay. And he, he's pooping in people's yards. But but it's not real poop. He's like pooping gold. Oh, good. Yeah, we think it's a trick. It, it might just be chocolate gold or, or maybe it's real gold. I don't know. If You might want to go out in your yard and just kind of look around and see if there's any gold pellet type stuff. Gold, gold poop out there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, uh, you know, just so you know, be on the lookout for this leprechaun guy. All right. Okay. Well, hey, you don't have to get an attitude with me. I'm just calling and doing my job. I understand. Well, hey, you don't have to yell at me, okay? You can stop yelling. <laughs> I'm just... Sir? Yeah. Okay, well, hey, hey, come on. Stop yelling. Stop yelling. I'm just... Happy Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Well, you don't have to yell that to me, okay? <laughs> I mean, ha- happy St. Patty's Day to you, too, but at least I didn't just yell it at you. Okay. Okay, motherfucker. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. I think he was on to me. Uh, The next couple's name is George and Lorraine. For realsies. I should call them from the uh, Enchantment Under the Sea dance or something. Where are you guys? I'm disappearing. Fuck. Hello? Hi, Lorraine? Yes. Hi, this is uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. And I just needed to let you know that the whole neighborhood's going to be coming to watch uh, a movie on the side of your house today. They're setting up a projector. Oh, really? Yep, in your yard. It's called Leprechaun Back to the Hood. My house, which is fifty six eleven. Yes, correct. Yeah, they're on. Oh. Yep, they're going to just be. Uh, they're going to get a projector and they're going to uh, show the movie up on the side of your house. Oh. And All right. it's it's called Lepre- I didn't know anything about this, nor did anyone ask me was I interested in <laughs> allowing it, but yeah. that doesn't well, make a difference. Well you don't have to come out I and guess. watch it if you don't want to, if it's not your kind of movie. But there there your your yard's gonna be filled with people tonight. There's gonna be lawn cha- okay, lawn uh, chairs everywhere. All right, now wait and a minute. My yard is going to be filled with people? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be shown on the house, and people are going to hang out in your yard and watch the movie. It's just a two-hour movie, that's all. Um, do you have food, though? Do you have drinks and stuff? All right, thank you. You're, you're, thank you. Goodbye. What, what do you mean? I'm, I'm what? Well, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> PLA 845 says they're setting up bleachers in the front yard. Stadium bleachers. I love that their name was George and Lorraine, though. That's pretty cool. I guess. Not that I did anything with it, but... Hello. Hello, Mike? Yes? This is Steve O'Dave from the Homeowners Association. Which Homeowners Association are we talking about? Oh, f- smartass. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, I, I was just calling to let you know we're going to be showing a movie tonight here, here in the neighborhood. And uh, yeah. it's, they're going to be showing it on the side of your house. They're, br- they're bringing a projector over, and they're going to just show it on the side of your house, and everyone's going to come over and watch it. Okay, that'd be fine. Okay, yeah, so just you know, just so it, you're not worried. It d- no, it doesn't matter if I'm upstairs going around in my underwear, though, does it? Well, I mean, we got a big window out there. You're going to want to keep the windows shut because there's going to be kids. <laughs> there's going to be you know, just <laughs> lots of people in your yard today. Watching, okay, watching this, this, is, this I just want to tell you. This is St. Patrick's Day. That's not the same as April Fool's Day. Oh, right. No, this is a St. Patrick's Day movie. This is something we do every year. Uh, it's called okay. the, the movie's called Leprechaun Back to the Hood. Okay. And uh, it's it's a horror slash uh, titty movie. It's R rated. Certainly, certainly would be. <laughs> lots of lots of boobs on the side of your house. Okay. So uh, yeah, seven o'clock tonight. That's when it starts. Uh, okay, be serious for a minute. What are we talking about here? We're talking about uh, beaming a movie onto the side of your house with a projector. Uh, it's going to be Leprechaun, Back to the Hood. It's not going to be easy to see. Are you sure you have the right house and what? the right address? Why wouldn't it be easy to see? It's a brick house. Yeah, that's okay. It's it, you, If you watch the movie, you'll understand. It works really well on a brick background. That's what it was okay. designed for. Okay. All right, but no, okay. you, li- you I'm, live I'm on. Good with that, which side? Which side are you going to go through? You going to go to the front or the, well, the side with the um, with the uh, sewer uh, pump on it? I, I don't. I don't really work the AV department. That'll be. Uh, oh. That'll be Fred. Okay. So he, he'll All figure right. it out. Which, he knows. What did you say your name was again? Uh, Steve O'Dave. Okay. 
All right, that's fine with me, Steve. Uh, okay, and uh, incidentally, are you wearing green today? And for you know, it's St. Patrick's Day. Of course. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because. I have green on a shamrock. How about you? Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. Okay. I just, you know, yeah, if, you're, course, if, you're, yeah. if you're not wearing green... With a name like Shannon and, and Kelly's and Shannon's in my background, I mean, I have to wear green. I see. Okay. Well, yeah, I know you have to wear green because if you don't, you get a $35 fine from us. Yeah, well, that's a... I, I'm, I'm safe. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Making sure everything's okay. on the up and up, especially since, uh, yeah. you know, you're hosting the, the movie tonight. Yeah, that's good. Bring food. Oh, no, you're providing the food. Oh, I'm providing that, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good to know. Food and drinks. Well, have a nice day. We'll see You, you t- too. See you tonight. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Fun Society Arcade says he's responsible for making sure nobody's pirating the movie, like recording it on their phone from the audience. He'll get a nice, nice big fine from the MPAA if that happens. He doesn't want that. Hello, Irv? Yes. Hey, this is Steve O'Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And we noticed that you're not wearing green today. You don't even see me. Oh, no, we can see you. We have sensors. And, uh, no, you don't. Yeah, oh, yes, we do. If you wore green. How else would we know if you weren't that you weren't wearing green today? Because you're just bluffing me. Bluffing? What What would be the point of bluffing you? I'm calling. I don't know. I'm calling from the homeowners association. We have, we we have uh, microwaves uh, showering your house right now. It it penetrates through roofs and walls and tells us if you're wearing green or or not. Okay. So you know, we we know, and that that's breaking the homeowners association rules. Okay. So you you, you better go find something green on. Okay. The, thank you. The day's halfway over. Okay. So you gotta you gotta get green on. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to fine you. Uh, it's thirty five dollars. Okay. You don't want that. Nope. Okay. I, okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> I think he was. Uh, I think he was jerking it or something. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Joan. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes, hi. Hi. I, I just called to let you know we're, we're going to be playing a, a St. Patrick's Day movie tonight. Here in the oh, na- really? Yeah, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be projecting it onto your house. So um, my house. Yeah, just so you know, right around sunset, they're um, what is that now? Like eight o'clock or so? They're going to be uh, they're going to start the movie. It's called Leprechaun: Back to the Hood. Oh, cool. Yep. Yep. And okay. It, it's going to be in your backyard. All right. And uh that's fine. I mean lots of people with uh lawn chairs and kids running around and Are you serious? Yeah, completely serious. It's it's a St. Patrick's Day thing. We do this every year. And uh you, you know this this year it's your turn to host it. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, yeah, it's a St. Patrick's Day movie thing. Maybe they just never invited you. Oh, well, can you tell my husband this cuz this is a riot. Oh, a hold, riot. Hold on, please. What do you mean a riot? It's, it's fun. Hold oh on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no riots though. That's against the homeowners. Well, whatever it is, I'm all ears. Okay, hey Bruce, this is Steve O'Dave from the Homeowners Association. Uh huh. And we're just showing a movie tonight on the side of your house. It's a, a St. Patrick's Day movie. Uh huh. And uh, it's going to start right around sunset. Your yard's going to be full of people, lawn chairs. Uh, if you have wait, wait. food or drinks or anything like that you want to bring out, you're welcome to. Maybe some candy for the kids, green candy, green beer, green water. I th- I think we'll pass. Oh no, you don't have a choice. It's it's your turn this year. We we uh do a different house every oh, yeah. year, and this year it's going to be your we house. We always have a choice. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> this is a homeowner association rules. You have to let us host it at your house tonight. It's, it's already okay, planned. Well, I'll tell you what. Everyone has the address. Uh, next time you have a change of rules on, on on POA, let me know ahead of time so I can vote yay or nay. Well, maybe you should have just been more uh, interested in local affairs and you would know about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think but, we'll pass. But no, thank it's, you for it's, your call. It's too late to pass, motherfucker. It's happening at your house tonight. Okay. Now, who is this? My name is Steve O'Day from the Homeowners Association. From the POA. <laughs> well, 
I don't know anybody by that name on the homeowners association. Yeah, maybe that's because you're not here on you're not on the board. You're not a part of the homeowners association. <laughs> you just have to follow the rules and do what you're told. Yeah, that's, that's your job. Well, never I've never done that in my life, I guess. Yep. So, but thank you for your call. Okay. Well, anyway, you don't get a choice tonight because you're a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, uh, no, have you a good don't. evening. Well, when people show up in your yard, I hope you, you find a house. You, no, it's going to be yours. It's going to be yours. Be there at sunset. Fucking Bruce. Bruce is not a team player, you guys. Hello? Hello? Fuck. They just hung up on me, I think. Calling them back. Hello? Hi, Mark. Yeah. This is Steve O'Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. And uh, it said, what? It said Carolina Comics. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Oh. No, no, I'm calling for my personal cell. I don't know why I would say that. Do why? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I didn't take the call. Oh, I see. Well, you did because you know you picked up and we're talking. Second, second one I did. Yep, yep. yep. You're What's one, up? one of those people. Yeah. Anyway, we noticed that uh, you, you're not wearing green today, and it's actually a homeowners association rule that you have to wear green on St. Patrick's Day. And I'm really, yeah, I'm completely serious. Uh, it's yeah, well, we, we're uh, send the police. Oh no, it's not a police matter, but we can send. Uh, we can do a thirty-five dollar fine if you don't get into compliance immediately. Good. Why don't you do that? Well, why don't you just put on green? Well, sorry. Quit I'm being. Do that. Quit is, being this, is this, a, is this a, a joke? No, oh, no, I'm completely serious. It, it's in, it's in your the homeowners association rules that you signed up when you moved into the neighborhood. Is, is this? Uh, no, I'm Steve O'Dave. I'm with the Homeowners Association. Okay, Steve. I don't Steve. live on Go your... Go fuck yourself. Your How's that? Hey, You can find hey. me for that, too. Bye. I, I'm going to, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy crap. That, that seemed unnecessary. You can't just say that. It's his problem. Hello? Hello, Elizabeth? Yes? Hi, this is Steve Dave from True Green... And uh, we from, what? from True Green, you know the lawn company. We accidentally sprayed your lawn early oh. th- early this morning. Uh, they, the my my coworker Chad, he he sprayed it with grass killer. Oh, like so you grass killer? Yeah. So he he's he's I don't know what his problem is. He's he's on this weird uh, anti St. Pat- Patrick's Day kick, and he just went oh, over there. He, he said he didn't want your yard to be green green anymore. So he he put grass killer all over the yard. And You're kidding. Me. Now it's going to turn yellow and fall out. And I'm, I'm definitely going to write him up for this. So what are we supposed to do? Well, I, I told you, I'm, I'm going to write him up for this. Yeah, but I mean about our grass. Well, just, uh, I don't know, replant or something. But I, I'm definitely... I'm, I'm going to put my husband on. I'm dealing with Chad because Chad... We sprayed our grass, grass killer this morning. Who did? Talk to him. Hello. Hello, this is Steve O'Dave from True Green. The same. Pa- what can you? What's the name of the company? It's True Green. You know the the St. Patrick's Day Grass Company. No, I don't. I don't know that company. Well, it's, it's it's True Green. Everyone knows True Green. It's like it's like Kimlon. I don't know what that is either. I have, can have, you send me a? Can you want to send me an email or are you, you just joking? Oh no, I'm not joking. I, it's weird that you haven't heard this stuff. Have you ever left the house before? What are you talking about? Well, look, one of my workers, uh, his name is Chad. He he went over and sprayed your lawn today with uh, grass killer. Yeah. And um, he, he's, he's well, on... What does that have to do with us? Well, we you... didn't order anything. I know. He wasn't supposed to do that. And I just was letting you know that we're, we, we've written... I'm going to write him up. I'm gonna, he's going to get a demerit. And I'm sorry about your lawn. It's going to turn yellow and fall out. Because he, he he said uh, he 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 did several lawns here in the neighborhood, and he's he's just uh, he said uh, I don't want their lawns to be green for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to turn all their, their lawns yellow. Okay, but, so what's the joke? But Chad, um, Chad's an nobody, idiot. Nobody nobody uses grass killer, and if somebody did, we didn't see anybody in our yard today. Well, some people use it when they want to get rid of their lawn and just put rocks. I don't seat. know anybody who's ever used it. Well, okay, you, well, you're you not, don't kill grass. You, you don't kill centipede grass. You, so you, what, hey, what's the hey, purpose hey, of your hey. call? You, you've never even heard of True Green, so what do you know? 
Well, what do you know? Well, you, you, uh, you, what, why are you calling me? You're pretending I you've mean, never even heard of True Green, and that seems really suspicious to me. Why don't you just hang up and, and call <gasps> some somebody who's really uh, fool, foolish enough to talk to you? Why don't you hang up? <laughs> I think he just called himself foolish. Pretty sure that's what that was. He just admitted that he's a fool. Guess what, everyone? It's 12.30, and that means it's time for the XYZ Show. You can listen to the XYZ Show uh, by going to Mixler.com slash XYZQWA. I'm going there right now. Most likely, XYZ, he's, he's going on the air. So bye, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for listening. Are you guys ready for some voicemails? I'm sure that's what everyone is in the mood for at this point. Hey, uh, Nathan, he found a theme song for the voicemails, which I can't really use because it's copyrighted. You remember Cactus, Texas? <laughs> Nothing but a white place in the room. Yeah, this is Waylon Jennings, and the song is actually called Cactus, Texas. 18 wheelers never go there. All right, and I'm going to stop playing it now because I know that's going to be a copyright violation against me. Probably going to get sued by record companies someday. But maybe I should put a link in the show notes to Cactus, Texas by Waylon Jennings. Do you remember Cactus, Texas? <laughs> Nothing but a white place. Ah, that's the great. Room. Yep, go listen to that, everyone. Hey, Brad, it's Novi. Just kidding, that was terrible. It's Cody, no name. You sure got just me. Finally, I just got your uh, my copy of the PLA book, and I'm mm-hmm. excited, and I'm gonna burn it because it's evil. You All should. Right. Thank you, Satan. Bye. Take it to yeah. your uh, church group burn it with a bunch of uh, satanic CDs and stuff. In fact, I recommend that everyone out there buy as many copies as you possibly can to burn with your church groups. Hey Brad, um, you remember the calls you would make pretending to be from AT&T and say, oh, just letting you know you have no new messages. Yup. And you call saying, oh, you have no packages waiting for you. Yup. Anyway, could you call people who have Craigslist ads or other kinds of ads who are selling a piece of furniture or something? And just say, hey, just letting you know, I, I saw your ad. I just want to call and say I'm not interested. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See what they get? Or what they say. They'd probably be pretty mad. But anyway, yep. thanks, Brad. Bye. Or I could call as Craigslist and be like, hey, this is Dave from Craigslist. And I just needed to let you know that your item hasn't sold yet. Nobody is interested in buying your item. But yeah, I like your idea better, actually. Just call up people and tell them I'm not interested. Someone has to have done that by now, right? There's been so many prank shows where they just call Craigslist people. Hello, Brad. This is Crazy Calvin Williams, finally able to call in. <laughs> Why weren't uh, you able to before? Uh, enjoy the show. Love listening to it. Think you helped me do worse in school. Uh, hey, cactus, cactus. Anytime. Still like to know why you couldn't call in before. That's a little weird. Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. I'll, 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 I think I found a website. It's going to tell us, tell us what the word knobby means. It's a manky old guy with a grizzly full beard, skanky unwashed hair, and thick rimmed glasses with a near per- per- permanent roll of fag in his mouth. Often seen walking out of off licenses. I saw the worst possible knobby. I understand, on like the every train every other word. So, I, that's, I think that's what knobby means in the. And the old uh, urban, urban dictionary. Oh, by the way, yeah, knock, okay. knock. We're going to do knock, knock, joke, so knock, knock. Who's there? Brad. Brad who? You got it in one. Bye-bye. What? What? I didn't even hear what you said. You got it in one. What's he saying? You got it in one. Whatever, I don't care. Bye-bye. Don't ever call again, Mr. Knobby Guy. I've had about enough of you. Hey, this is Dan Pastor from AT&T. Holy we shit. We have to tell you that Pastor calls it on your account. And that um, we need to snap your ass with a telling nachos for ages, daddy. And make okay, sure that it counts. Right. Make sure you like your ass with a catcher. Okay, I understood even less of that one. What the hell's with everyone's phone connections today? Hey, Brad. It's E. coli. Again, spelled with a K. Okay. Uh, first, I wanted to thank you for playing. According to Google, it's spelled with a C. So I think you're wrong. My voicemail's on the show. Uh, I left them in, like, November, and you played them in January. Yeah, so I yeah. I just got lost in the FBI raid. Yeah. Uh, but you played them, and I got really, really excited when I heard my voice. 
I bet um, you got a boner. Even though you made me look like a hobo, kind of, because you played the one where I introduced myself as a new listener after the one where I said something else. Yeah. Told you to play Fuck Mary Kill. Probably confused um, everyone. So the, that was kind of weird. It creates this continuity. I probably lost terror. listeners over that. And if people are keeping track of me, and you're keeping track of me, which I, I assume you keep track of all your listeners. Yep. yep. It creates a problem. Got a database. Uh, I, ha- I had something else to talk about. Had you. But this this message has taken too long already. So I'm gonna like wait a couple of weeks. Uh, okay. Message. Bye. Thanks for uh, calling the voicemail to not leave a message, Mr. E. Coli, spelled with a K. You know, K is a knight. Or K is a knee, according to my phonetic alphabet list. Hey, Brad, this is Lee. Mm-hmm. Uh, just listened to the Eminent Domain show, and uh, that old man that you were going to put a bus stop uh, in front of his house, I, that sounded like it has incredible potential to make the same kind of song as a Go Cup song. Oh. Uh, you or one of the other. You heard him, Reefer Badness. That man, get to work. Him with the same music, and so you have a sister song. To the Go Cup song. Um, Maybe I should use you. my uh, crazy people old lady beat that I made originally for that. Uh, the show's off. Awesome. Oof. I crazy people. Wait eagerly for every show to come out. Thanks. Hey, Steve, Dave. It's Olga. Okay, no, it's not again. It's Kyle from Florida. But uh, apparently last time Gee. I had a hobo phone incident. So uh, sorry about that. Hopefully uh, this gets through clear. Yep. Sounds and, good. Uh, yeah, so anyway, what I was trying to say was, is that Ky- uh, Kyle from Minnesota, he can go take a running jump, because uh, yeah, Kyle. everybody knows Kyle from Florida is a lot cooler. So yeah, and uh, everybody listening, why aren't you a Patreon subscriber? I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, listeners. Together. Everybody knows Fuck. about the hidden hobo sods. So, uh, Wait, yeah. what? There's hidden okay, hobo on. sods? I didn't know that. Yeah, but as long as you're bringing it up, everyone, patreon.com slash phone losers and phone losers.org slash cactus. That's where you do the monthly sign up thing to get extra shows and all that stuff. Help support the show. Help me buy lots of crack. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Bob at a baby pizza boy. Hey there. You need to do some more sensei dog calls, man. Okay. That's the I shit. will. I promise. That's probably the best thing that I've ever heard come out of your podcast. Sensei fucking dog. Yup. All right, man. I just wanted to let you know. I'll do it. For some Sensei Doug I need to do an entire show. Listening every day, just waiting for the Sensei, Sensei Doug. Doug. But Sensei Doug is no longer fucking on the show. I think I did one today, didn't I? Or was that yeah. on the last show? What that said. Just one. I think that was on the last show. But it's okay. He left this message like a week ago. Hey, Brad. It's Adam. I was just calling. So I got super bored tonight. I couldn't sleep. And there was a commercial on before. Uh, like a lava life or whatever, I guess, where you're bored and you can connect with people or whatever. And there was this lady. Okay. That's, that's, that's great. Oh, you're going to play TV commercials at me. Okay. Uh, thanks for the voicemail. It's, it's working out really well. Listen to how great that TV sounds. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank, thank you for that. Everybody enjoyed that. Best voicemail of today so far. Hey, Brad. One quick question for you. Are we only allowed to use our pseudonyms or handles when we leave a voicemail? Because I call in from time to time, but both times I called in and said my real name. Hey, Brad. It's... You edited it out. No, I didn't. So what's the deal? There's no way. confirmed Patreon members allowed to be on first name basis with you? (laughs) Yeah, that's what it is. Is revenue not good enough? Wait a second. I got it. How about... What if my voicemail username could be no name or caller without a handle? I think that's been done. That could work. You're a genius, Brad. Okay, gotta go. Thanks. Cactus Texas. And I've never edited anyone's name out, like, when they say their name. I've never done that. Maybe the, the call just cut out at that point. Or maybe I talked over your name. I don't know. But I didn't do it on purpose. I'm not taking names out of the voicemails. You can be anybody you want. Except you can't be Olga. Everyone's always impersonating Olga. When they do that, I just delete those voicemails, usually. I don't know why everyone wants to be Olga. It's fucking weird. Hey, Brad, it's Richard Richardson. I was just listening to the last episode, and that fucking guy that said, I'll trade my icebox for an Xbox if you have one, was fucking hilarious, man. Whoever that was, good job. Tee-hee. And also, uh, if Nico hears this message, I got something I want to put in her shit box. Talk to you later. Oh my god, Nico, did you hear that? Someone has a crush on you. 
I'm pretty sure that's what that meant. Hello, Roy. My name is Jackie. I'm calling from France. Uh, I hope you are very well. Sorry yeah. for my English. Uh, somewhat well, I guess. I know you like cactus, and so do I. So have a good day, and uh, see you soon, my friend. Bye-bye. R- really? Is that a threat? You're going to see me soon? I got your number, Mr. French person. I don't have to take this. Hi, PLA and Brad. Hello. Um... Have you ever heard of Neil Hamburger's pizza pranks? Why, yes, you check it I out have. On YouTube. They're really funny. And I, I, I enjoy them. Because um, the Snowplow Show, is, it's a show that you can look up on the internet that um, has tele- a prank call. Yeah, I agree with that, too. Yeah, I've actually listened to uh, Neil Hamburger. I, I first got a bootleg cassette tape of his back in 1997. And back then, it was my favorite. I loved all those pizza calls he did. And every once in a while, he pops up on a TV show or on a movie or something. And I'm like, oh my god, it's Neil Hamburger. It's the guy whose prank calls I used to listen to. And I would play a Neil Hamburger song, like a track, right now because it's great. But I can't do that because YouTube will uh, do a copyright strike against me. I've done that before with Neil Hamburger's tracks. He's got them all copyrighted. What a jerk. Hey, Brad. Uh, I was wondering, we used to send out, like, little newsletters and things with, like, yeah. buttons and stuff yep. to some of the Patreon people. I was just wondering, what happened to that? Did you stop doing that? What's the deal? Yeah. All right. Thank I don't you. Know. Like, you know, sending out stuff to Patreon people it was kind of easy at first. I was doing it monthly, but then Patreon quickly grew to over 100 people. And I think now, between the two things, it's like 200 people. And sending out shit is just like this huge chore that takes days or or all week or whatever, you know? Doing all the envelopes and getting shit together. I don't know. And then also, what's happened since I started doing the Patreon stuff is that the post office has raised the postage rates. Like, a lot. Like, it's twice as much to mail stuff internationally as it used to be. And I don't know, I'm just full of excuses, but... Here's the thing. I bought a bunch of stickers recently, and I have them sitting here. A bunch of a new design of stickers. It's actually by Nick Caesar, and they look amazing. I've had them for a month now, and I haven't been able to show them to anyone because I don't want people to start emailing me and demanding the new sticker. And I've halfway written a new newsletter thing, and I'm waiting for another batch of stickers to come in that I I just placed an order for new stickers um, this past week. And I'm going to mail some things out to Patreon people and, uh, you know, non-Patreon uh, people that support through the website. I will be doing that soon, but I know I used to do it every month, and then I switched it down to every couple months, and then every three or four months. And at this point, I think it's been, um, I don't know, like a year or something since I've sent anything out. And I took down all the references to me sending things out so that new people that joined up wouldn't be disappointed. So that's what's going on with the mailings. And I think I'm going to kind of, in a way, phase the mailings out. But here's my plan. I'm going to set up a form on the website for people who are Patreon supporters or or supporters of of any way, you know, through the website or through Patreon or whatever. I want to set up a form where you just put in your name and your address and your Patreon username and everything so that I know that you're a real uh, supporter and everything where you can just occasionally request uh, some stickers or whatever that I have here. You know, just flat things like stickers. I can't really do the buttons anymore because if I try to send a button to uh, to anywhere out of the country, I think it's like $8 now, like $8 per package. Or wait, no, it's even more than that. It's an insane amount of money. I think it used to be $6 originally when I was doing all this stuff with Patreon when I first set it up. And then the postage rates, they pretty much doubled. It's insane now. It's really hard to mail things out. I mean, internationally anyway, and there's a lot of international listeners of this show. So, yeah, I've really been slacking on all the mailing stuff out lately, and I'm trying to come up with a new solution for that. Because as the support grows, it just gets harder and harder to do. You'd think it'd be the opposite. It really does take just days and days to do all the envelopes and putting everything together. It sucks. And maybe I'll just switch it to a yearly thing or something. Maybe it'll be like every Christmas I send out packages to the supporters. Maybe. I don't know. No promises. Or maybe if this whole thing gets big enough, I'll just hire some interns to do it all for me. They can still get your packages, but I don't have to do any work. I need to get a bunch of interns here at the PLA Situation Room. And hey, if you're pissed that you're not receiving stuff in the mail, all you have to do is email me. People do this every once in a while. They'll just send me an email and say, hey, can you send me a few stickers or a few whatever things and I'll send them out. And and please don't do that right now because I've got these stickers here. I've got uh, most of a newsletter finished. I got envelopes all addressed and everything. You know, some stuff's going to be sent out very soon. And I don't have all your addresses. When I send stuff out, I'm going to ask for everyone's address. But, you know, not yet. Just wait. Don't do it yet. 
give me a few more weeks. I'm waiting for these other stickers to arrive, and then I'm going to send some things out soon. But I think it's possible that at least the era of me sending out bulky things in the mail may have come to an end. Just because it costs so much to mail it out now. Like, even in the United States, I used to be able to mail things out for like a dollar. Now it's like three or four bucks. Fucking post office. Hi, Brad. I was uh, just wondering, how do you configure your caller ID spoofing for the show? Or are you even still doing that? Yep. Um, Once a lot again. Of the SIP clients nowadays, they don't even let it. I, I know. They got rid of the... I noticed that. I I signed up with Callcentric a few months ago, and I was hoping I could just switch over to them because they they have such a good service. You know, they offer so many cool things with Callcentric. But what I found out that they don't offer is caller ID spoofing. Like, I can only make my caller ID show up as a number that I actually own through them, which kind of sucks. I was just wondering, you know, maybe it's too technical. Maybe there's somewhere I can go, like, on the website to figure it out. There is. um, I have the free PBX, but it's, it's not working on mine. So yep. I was just curious how you did it. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you. Thanks for taking my call. So I set up a page on phonelosers.org. It's phonelosers.org slash FAQ. That's phonelosers.org slash F as in 4chan, A as in aisle, and Q as in Q. Go there and there's, uh, I think, just two frequently asked questions on there right now. But one of them is, how do you broadcast? How do you record? How do you spoof your caller ID? That's all one question. And it explains in there how I do it through FreePBX and what the setup's like. But I think the important thing is getting a SIP uh, carrier, phone company carrier thing that allows caller ID spoofing. And apparently that's getting harder and harder to find. The one I use currently, and the one I've used forever now, it's called FlowRoute. And you can sign up with them at flowroute.com. I've been with them for years. They're awesome. They let you spoof your own caller ID. And you have to pay for it. It costs money, but it's kind of worth it in the end. Because you get to spoof your caller ID. RV Jasper Flax, listen, I, I used to live in your house uh, episode. Just listen to that. you got to call the dude back who had the locker who said he can't shovel. And you got to ask him if he ever throws a go pup out the window. Because I swear to fucking God, that was the same guy, man. He must have hated moves. You guys are figuring call that dude me out. back and ask him if he throws a go pup out the window. All okay. Right, man. Later. I'll do that. I promise. I'll totally get to that. The go cup guy, he probably moved out of Arizona to s- escape my calls. Moved across the country and I found him again. Brad Carter, Dr. Smooth Rod here. Hello. Hey, so I have a very serious question for you. Are you a dickhead? If you know what that Whatever means... Whatever do you mean? Then you'll know the answer. But if you don't know what that means, you won't know the answer. I'm afraid I'm oh, a dickhead. please tell me. I have to know, and if the answer is yes, I think I might be in love with you. Aww. Okay, bye. I have been known to a rage from time to time, but I don't appreciate you calling me a dickhead, motherfucker. Hey, Brad, it's uh, the Cisco Kid. Mr. Hey, I'm calling Mr. It Comedy to Album Producer. To uh, suggest that the official PLA game should be Watch Dogs 2. Yes, I, I mean, agree. Come on, it's, it's even got the little PLA Easter egg with the cactus. cactus. Yeah, yeah, well, fuck, I mean, fuck this Rust shit. Why are we playing Rust when we could be playing Watch Dogs 2? It's all about hacking, and it's really fun, and it's way better than freaking cavemen running around hitting each other with rocks. I agree. What the hell is that? Fucking Rust. All right. Just Why is everyone in into that? that suggestion, you know? Uh, I, I spent a good 40 minutes on Rust last night. I still don't know why I'm playing. Also... Hi, FBI. <laughs> All right, Brad. Take care. All right. Bye. Thanks for reminding me that the FBI are listening. Hey, I'm doing a new thing on the uh, the show notes of this episode. I'm starting on this episode, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try and keep it up on every single episode. But you know, at the bottom of the post on phonelosers.org, there's always that blurb of you know support the Patreon, add us on Facebook, add us on Twitter, blah blah blah. Well, I've added a second paragraph on there, and I'm gonna stick it on the bottom of every single show to try and get more people to uh, play games with us. But the paragraph, uh, you know, just kind of explains. You know, if you're into Rust, here's the Rust server. If you're into GTA 5, here's the link to the PLA radio crew. And if you're into uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, here's all of our usernames. And I figure I can just kind of keep adding on to that as we play different games and stuff. But I totally agree. I I really want to try out Watch Dogs 2. I think that looks amazing. I've sat here for hours and watched someone play it on Twitch because I'm too poor to to buy it right now. But I'm going to get that eventually one of these days and then I'm going to make all of you play that with me. Uh, (laughs) Hey, Brad, how's it doing? Hey, Corbin um, guy. Just giving you a call. Hey, do you remember that time that you almost, but then you didn't? 
<laughs> that was a cool time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sounds man. like Anyhow, me. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Corbin guy. That was pretty weird. I think he's giving me shit about something. You know, it's funny. This voicemail goes on for three minutes, which is the maximum time for a Google Voice voicemail. Like Corbin guy, he's just a big dummy. He didn't hang up his cell phone properly. Listen to this. He's just he's just walking around. Probably did it on purpose. Maybe I'm supposed to listen to this. Maybe this is Corbin guy's suicide. But, you know, we're only a minute into it. So I'm not going to listen to the very end. You know, Corbin guy, if you want to do a suicide live on the air, then maybe you should make it quicker because I don't have time to sit here and listen to three whole minutes. And on that happy note, I think it's time to end the show. I was going to do like a shitload of voicemails and get them all done, but I'm actually kind of tired of listening to voicemails now. So I'm going to stop. I'm almost caught up, though. I'm up to uh, this past Tuesday, at least five days behind so thank you everybody for listening to today's show and thank you my first broom for sponsoring today's show and i'll see you all next time rainy night darkness falls death walks down